from Maretta and uh, I work with uh, Wilderness Safaris working as a guide in Dumata. I was an ex-camper with the children in the wilderness uh, at an age of 10 years was brought in in one of the camps uh, known as uh, Duba and uh, that actually inspired me a lot to be a guide because uh, being close to animals it transformed my mind all the stories that I heard when I was young that uh, animals are dangerous you should always kill them when you see them uh, being close to them it actually changed everything and since from there I had a mindset of being a guide then uh, 2013, I joined the uh, safari industry as an escort guard uh, from Okavango Community Trust. But that is a company which is uh, in partnership adventure with Wilderness Safaris. And um, 2017, I was uh, promoted as a wild coordinator. And then uh, from then I started my training 2020 in Vumbra and uh, I am now a guide in, in Dumata, base guide in Dumata. Being a guide, it's something which is uh, very special, I would say if you are doing that from the bottom of your heart and i will say everyone at home who feels like being a guard please uh you have to game up and then uh, do your guard license and uh, start to guide because um especially for those that are were born and raised in in an area like this so we have grown up seeing these animals we know them so we have seen, we have tracked a lot of things when we were at home or when we are at home. So it's, it's, a met, it's a fact of converting that from your mother tongue language into English, then that will be perfect guiding. All right, living with these animals, it's very special. And those animals, uh, they get habituated to a lot of things that they see every day. It's not that each and every day when you see a, an elephant, it's, it's an other thing that is going to kill you. So those things, we live with them with, with peace here out in the wild. So what they need, it's comfort zone and respect. So for, for you to be a good guard, you have to respect your fellow mates and then you have to always read your guests. And the other thing is you should do it from the bottom of your heart. Because uh, guiding is interpreting what you know. So obviously it needs that patience. As a guide, you have to make sure that uh, you take everything into control. Uh, for example, you have to make sure that... Uh, People don't provoke animals because these things are habituated to see that vehicle as one big object. So, and then uh, if you don't control them in the vehicle, a lot of things can happen, right? So, and uh, each and every time when you come across a, a litter on the ground, you have to go down, pick that litter, show guests that uh, this thing, it's not supposed to be here. The 
guys, this other day when I was uh, trekking a leopard uh, and I found that leopard and uh, it was kind of, I saw it stalking. It elevated itself on top of a tamad mount and uh, there were some redbacks. It went stalking at those redbacks when it was about to pounce. Uh, a cheetah came from nowhere and then uh, snatched that red back that was being stalked by the cheetah, I mean the leopard. And uh, oh my goodness, that was mind blowing. Um, there are some encounters that sometimes come across. Uh, giving an example, when I was still at Linvumbra, uh, we were on Mukoro and uh, there was a hippo that came and uh, I and Sam we were leading. And uh, this hippo attacked a, a mukoro that they had guests. And uh, we had to jump from our mukoro and then push it over to the hippo for that hippo to fight this empty mukoro. So, and uh, from there we had to comfort these guests, tell them that it, it happens. And uh, as long as we were safe, we were very happy. My favorite game drives, it's night game drive because it's very chilled, it's not hot and then you can see a couple of these nocturnal animals which are, be, which are very rare to be seen uh, during the day. Uh, the likes of uh, small cats like African wildcat and genets.